Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 65 of 2020, amending some provisions of Decree 69 of 2004 on restructuring the Interior Ministry. Under the decree, a new clause N18 was added to Article 1 of Decree 69 of 2004 on restructuring the Interior Ministry as follows. 18. The National Cyber Security Centre, which includes Chief Executive Officer with the rank of Under Secretary, who is followed by a Deputy CEO for Cyber Operations with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, who is in charge of the Directorate of Cyber Protection, the Directorate of National Response, B, the Directorate of Coordination and Analysis. C, the Directorate of Support and Computer Operations. D, the Directorate of Security Systems Development. E, the Directorate Follow-up and Education. F, the Directorate of Cyber Policies. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 66 of 2020, appointing Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as Chief Executive Officer of the National Cyber Security Centre. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated his representative for humanitarian work in youth affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Bahrain's achievement of ranking first in the world for holding a half marathon race out of 493 races. The race, which was held in March 2019, was the first to be organised by the Bahrain Athletics Association, the BAA, in the Middle East, earning wide acclaim. His Majesty the King also congratulated the SCYS First Deputy Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on this occasion. He hailed the landmark sports achievement which builds on other strides and successes in hosting major races and competitions which contribute to co consolidating Bahrain's edge on the global sports map. He lauded the assiduous work done by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, healing his relentless efforts to promote sports in the Kingdom of Bahrain and create plans and programmes to enhance all sports, especially athletics. His Majesty also congratulated BAA Chairman Mohammed Abdul Latif bin Jalal on the honourable achievement, healing the association's efforts to develop the sport of athletics for more regional and international achievements. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Bahrain's ranking first in the world for holding the half marathon race after the Kingdom hosted the race in March 2019 under the patronage of His Majesty. His Highness affirmed Bahrain's win out of 493 races held in different countries reflects his outstanding and pioneering status in organising large sporting events. He affirmed that the royal patronage of His Majesty the King of Bahrain's first night marathon had the greatest impact in achieving his distinguished success. Sheikh Nasser added that this achievement, according to the IAAF classification, reflects the high position of Bahraini athletics and the great efforts made by the Federation in organising the race in Bahrain and the Middle East, with great success and wide global participation. His Highness commended the prominent role of the Bahrain Athletics Federation and all national working committees. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Majesty the King on the achievement he affirmed that the patronage of His Majesty the King was key to making this achievement, which reflects the support to the youth and sports sector in the Kingdom. He added that this support has helped advance sports in the Kingdom and contributed to success in hosting major sporting events. His Highness hailed the efforts of the Bahrain Athletics Association in organising the event, which was internationally acclaimed, adding that this achievement will be a motivation to further develop the next edition of the race for the year 2021. For his part, the President of the Brain Athletics Association, Mohammed Abdul Latif bin Jalal, congratulated His Majesty the King and affirmed that this achievement reflects the Kingdom's ability to host major sporting events. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs launched the fourth workshop for the National Action Plan for Human Rights in Bahrain, entitled The Role of National Institutions and Civil Society Organisations in the Promotion and Development of Human Rights. Under the patronage of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif Al-Ziani, and the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Humaydan, 
which is held via visual communication technology. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that national institutions and civil society organisations have proven to be a fundamental pillar of the development and progress in the Kingdom. He healed the activity of national institutions and civil society organisations and the benevolent deeds as well as the rich experience in serving the Barini community and its members. For his part, the Minister of Labour and Social Development stated that the number of civil organisations in Bahrain did not exceed 105 before the year 2002, after which the number increased to more than 640 in the year 2020. He noted that there are 11 national NGOs and institutions specialised in monitoring human rights and actively exercising the role in the Kingdom. The Under Secretary for Cabinet Affairs and Honorary President of the Good Word Society, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, stated that national institutions and civil society organisations have a major role in promoting and developing human rights. The Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RERA, in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority, remotely launched the licensing RERA Services System which includes a number of services that can be used through the national portal Bahrain.bh and serve the real estate sector and its workers. RERA CEO Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and Information and Information E-Government Authority Chief Executive Ali Kaid were present during the launch. The RERA licensing services system includes a set of important electronic services for real estate professionals, including brokers and sales agents, some of which were developed in the first stage, including issuing licences and paying their fees, inquiring about the status of applications, renewing expired licences and viewing all the licences approved by the authority, in addition to viewing the documents required for issuance or renewal. An ad hoc committee set up to manage the contributions made to FINA Care campaign has coordinated with the Education Ministry to distribute 10,000 laptops to students from needy families. The laptops will be used by the students as the new academic year starts, with courses to be delivered virtually, following the restrictions taken by the authorities to ensure the safety of students and school staff. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation Secretary General and Chairman of the Committee, Dr Mustafa Al Said, said the tender board completed awarding the project to provide laptops to the needy students as one of the initiatives approved by His Majesty the King's Representative for Human Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He said that the Executive Committee assigned the RHF to set up the committee to oversee the distribution of the funds and the contributions to Fina Al Khair to help needy families during the coronavirus pandemic. The Minister of Health said today the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,821 with 477 recoveries, 324 registered new cases and two deaths. 92 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 229 are contacts of active cases and three are travel related. The deceased were a 75 year old female citizen and a 77 year old male citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible. <laughs> 